There are a number of changes to the Beretta Model 1938 from its initial adoption before World War II, but this gun was so good that once Italy surrendered, Germany kept it in production. When we talk about the, uh, the Beretta 1938 or M38, uh, we're talking about the successor to the world's first submachine gun, uh, the Villa Perosa. Uh, which was literally the, the first practical submachine gun introduced by the Italians in 1915 during the, uh, the Great War. The 1938 Beretta literally is its successor uh, submachine gun, and it's, uh, it represents obviously a giant leap forward in technology and design, but it's truly one of the most uh, beautiful and uh, you know, practical submachine guns of the Second World War. Designed by Tullio Manangioni, this was an open bolt, direct blowback, nine millimeter submachine gun feeding from a detachable box magazine. And this MAB 38 Beretta uh, was easily recognizable for the use of a uh, distinctive wooden stock. Also recognizable through the use of a ventilated, heat dissipating barrel shroud. The firearm was first adopted by Italian, African uh, constabulary forces and used up until uh, the outbreak of war. The Italian army begins ordering it and using it in increasing numbers starting in 1939 with a few modifications that led to a model that we're more familiar with called the Beretta 38A. Now the experience of wartime uh, put the Italian government through something that every other government that joined that conflict went through, and that was a recognition for the fact that they had to achieve economy of scale with the production of firearms. Meaning that firearms in the pre-war period that might have been uh, completed to a nicer level of finish and complexity, uh, those firearms were stripped of those niceties during the experience of war in the interests of simply economizing in a manner similar to the way that the American Thompson submachine gun undergoes a redesign for economy purposes during World War II, the Beretta Model 38A likewise goes through a, a bit of a reimagination, leading to the Beretta Model 3842, a model that preserves the basic direct blowback open bolt operating system but deletes some of the things that the Italians realized that the firearm could live without. It had two triggers, one for bursts and the other for uh, semi-automatic. And it was exceptionally reliable. They had a beautiful magazine, 40 round magazine, double column, alternate position feed magazine. The Italians did not really appreciate the tactical role that a submachine gun uh, should occupy. And they thought of it as an infantry weapon. They did progress one step further than anyone else. They loaded a special hot nine millimeter parabellum round specifically for that gun. And that boosted its power quite a bit, but certainly not enough to place it in the class of a suitable weapon to be a standard infantry rifle. So this is a firearm that is conceived in the pre-war period that equips the Italian fighting forces up until that important intonation point, the September 8, 1943 capitulation to the Western Allies. And the firearm then continues to fight on with the designation MP-738I as a standard issue German firearm through to the end of the conflict. It lives on briefly in the post-war period with a few modifications, the MP3849 and then other models that lead in one continuous evolution to eventually the very notable and well-known Beretta M12 submachine gun, which is alive and still in use to this very day. <laughs> 